Good morning, everyone. I first of all need to apologize to everyone. I missed yesterday. I got up and was so busy and my mind was on something else that I tell you, I just went through the day and didn't realize until the end of the day, man, I had forgotten uh, our time together. So I apologize for that. And uh, though it is a busy day, this is important. And I, I'm glad to be with you this, this morning. Let's get started. The Bible says in 1 John chapter number 4 and in verse number 10, Here in his love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Well, this morning, it is about love. But what, what we have the unique uh, privilege is to have love defined for us a little bit. And that is this, first of all, God's love is first. In other words, it's not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And I tell you, I'm so very thankful that God reached out to me and uh, spoke to my heart and, and did all that he did in my life. And I'm so very thankful that he was first. It's not that I loved him uh, first or that I... Uh, sought him first. It was that God loved me first. And I'm so very thankful for that. The Bible goes on and says, it says this, but, and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. In other words, even though we were unlovely and even though that, that we maybe didn't even love God at that time, yet God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son to be the substitute, to be the, the uh, uh, one that took our place uh, for our sins. I tell you, I'm reminded of John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's exactly what that verse means. And so today, can I tell you, you are loved. You might say, but preacher, I don't deserve it. None of us do. But that's, that's God's love, isn't it? He loves us in spite of what we do. He loves us in spite of, you know, where, our, where we come from or anything like that. God loves us. But I hope and pray that the love of God changes your life. That because of love, that, that, that our love would grow and that we would begin to love God. And my, my friend, I tell you, without a doubt, by the grace of God, it will change your life. So be thankful today and rejoice that, the, that God loves you. Good to be with you today. I hope, you're, hope you'll have a wonderful day. Let's pray. Father, bless us today. Keep us safe. May we walk in your love. May we always remember how much you love us. But Lord, I pray that we'll get to the point in our lives where we love others the same way. May your will be done, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.